David motherfucking Ross. <laughs> Seven kissers. Greens and grabbers. Oh, yes! <laughs> David. That looks nice. That looks nice. Dry off your brush. Yep. Keep it classy. We did it. We did it. I say it every episode, but we did it. 130. <laughs> still nothing. It's still nothing in the spectrum of what it could be. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Boost-booskies. I often wonder if my downstairs neighbors can hear me screaming, but I don't think they're around right now. They're working. They're working. Who cares what they think? It's only for a second anyway, right? And maybe a few times throughout the show. Janice! I swear. You know what, Janice? I'm not swearing anymore. Um, we've reached a point now where I've had to tell you three, this is my third time telling you that I am fucking sick of strawberry Perrier. I'm not only sick, I don't like it. No one likes the strawberry. Strawberry's good in other flavors, but when it comes to Perrier, the strawberry is by far the worst flavor. I like Perrier. I'm okay with Perrier in a can, but not strawberry. And not left in the can and put the can in my cup, Janice. Do you not know how to fucking open a can and pour it into a cup? I'm sick of this. But it's all I got, so. And Janice, you're all I got. So. Maybe we should just start over. And, and you know let's get let's get on the on on the right page here from here on out Janice if I see you I will say to you good morning how was your morning oh that's fucking gross Janice I'm no forget it we're done I'm not being nice to you. I was thinking about it, but then I tasted that fucking strawberry Perrier, and I said, no, Janice. I'm done with you. No, I'm not, Janice. Don't go. Please don't go, Janice. Please. You got to stay. I need you. I need you. Okay, we're good. Okay, get, okay Janice, I got to do a podcast. Why don't you, why don't you fuck off? I got to do a podcast. Uh... <sighs> Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just Janice gets in my face sometimes. You know how it is. Check this out though. Check, check this out. Ryan Faroki from or the 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 uh, the editor of Dynamic Banter and some shit on Valley Folk, I believe. I don't know. He made me some business cards. I pro I I contacted him. I said, "Yo, dude, you make good business cards. Can you make me some business cards? I've got like 150 of them in a big box." In a small box, but a lot of them. And this, this is the result. It's fucking. Oh. I 
Okay, do, okay, we've ex- we've talked about this, right? Janice, have we covered this? Yes, we have. On the Halloween episode, I did it. The pumpkin fell off this platform here, and I said it's fucking a mission to go over there and grab anything. Because once it's set up and we're recording, it's there's so much shit in the way, okay? Between the edge of this table and the camera, there's about this much space to, to walk, okay? Now, if you go in between there, there's cables all over the floor. <laughs> the space to get between this side of the table and that, you can't tell. But it's it's just, it's literally just enough room for me to turn this chair around, okay? It's just enough room. And then on this side, against the wall, there's probably this much room. This is a small room. You can't tell on camera, but it's fucking small. And there's cables everywhere, and there's an olive sleeping on a blanket. So for me to get up and go around and get that business card... I mean, it actually won't be that hard because I think I see it. I can actually reach it from under the table. Nope. Oh, yes, I can. Ah! I got it. What a catastrophe this episode is. But let's check out these new business cards, shall we? They're beautiful. Here's the front. Dynamite Gizmo Productions. It's got a glossy logo. See that? And then it's kind of like a smooth matte finish to the black. I don't know what the term is. I don't know what the fucking term is. And then you flip it. Babushka. It's got... I can't stretch that far. But I can zoom. What am I doing? I can zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. See that? Dynamite Gizmo Production. Twitter. Spessbound SoundCloud. You see me? SoundCloud. And YouTube. Will you see me? Zoom out. But not too much. You don't want to reveal the bedroom. It's not a bedroom. It's the room. It's the mushroom, remember? Welcome to the mushroom, ladies and gentlemen. This is the mushroom. Okay, you get it? Because there's mushrooms and we're in a room. It's the mushroom. That's what it's called. Ah, fuck Janice. Can't stand strawberry. I swear to God, Janice, if next episode, it's strawberry Perrier in a fucking can again. What? You, what? Yeah, I, okay. You guys can't hear Janice. But she's saying we have to get rid of them, so I have to drink them. How many are left, Janice? What? She said there's about three left. Well, Janice, just dump them in the sink. Yeah, no, okay. She doesn't know how to open a can. She doesn't know how to open a can. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. That's Janice. Janice... You'd be safe to tell me, little ginger cunt. That's all I gotta say to you. Got a couple new sound bites. Uh, played one of them, the sneeze. I've been sick for the past three days. The first thing I did this morning was sneeze. Logan sneezes, and... Just strap on my boots and watch me go. But I can't ski until December. Till then I'm just a sex offender. Good! Good ones, aren't they? You're a pussy. You're a pussy. But forever, my all-time favorite will be... Um. No matter what. I know it's not mine to use. Dynamic Banter's got the real grip on this one. But when I heard this, I could not just let it go. I needed it. Because um. it's such a good one, my friends. It's a good one. Okay, what the f- what the fuck can we talk about? You got the card here, you're supposed to talk about shit. Oh yeah, also another thing. So Ryan Froki, he made these, alright? We had a good little, uh, a good little banter, so to speak, back and forth. Uh, but I, you know, I thanked him for his fucking business and his, uh, 
you know, the wonderful, wonderfulness of these cards. And the guy fucking ghosted me. He read my message and he didn't respond. So he must ha- he hates me now. That's the only option. He he Ryan Faroki hates me. Isn't that great? At least I got my business cards. <laughs> I don't know. He might not. He might. I don't know, dude. Maybe he just doesn't feel like talking to me anymore. He's like, I gave you your shit. I got your money. I don't need you anymore. Get out of my face, bro. I don't know. Don't know. Few theories. No, have no theories. I don't know. Don't know, people. I don't fucking know. And these headphones are garbage. They're literal garbage. They're cheap plastic. You could throw them only a couple feet and they will smash into a billion pieces, I guarantee you. But the cable is nice and long. It almost, well, it's too long. I don't need one that long. I could switch back to the to the to the knockoff beats. These are not real beats. These are Chinese uh, knockoffs, uh, straight from China. Uh, pretty well, every little screw has fallen out. So there's lots of uh, super glue to keep this thing together. Also, the earpieces are falling apart. Like the leather material is shredding. Even it's obviously not real leather. Leather. <laughs> Doctor Dre. Doctor Dre is a friend of mine. Doctor Dre is a friend of mine. So, uh, the the last episode I uploaded was. Titled, uh, what the fuck was it titled? You know what it was titled. Don Cherry, he got fired. That guy. I don't need to talk about that anymore, but, um, uh, yeah, I know I said I would, I would update if the, he got interviewed, but I don't think he did yet, because I haven't seen any, so. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, so in the beginning, I did, I covered the Logan Paul and KSI fight. I'm so sick of talking about Logan Paul and KSI. (laughs) But they had their fight. Uh, I recorded the episode. Boppity boopity, everything went smoothly. I had to record it twice, actually. Uh... And then the sec, you know, when I when I recorded it the second time, or maybe that was the episode before. I can't remember. <laughs> I recorded it. I uploaded. It. I had great footage of the fight and whatnot. You know, just little segments. And the zone blocked the fuck out of my video, so no one could see. I had to delete it, re-upload it. So I uploaded it way later than I should have. Uh. Way later than I should have. Even, the, you know, the first time I uploaded it was even too late. So then having it been blocked, having to delete it and then re-edit it and then re-upload it took, you know, I uploaded it late last night. This is not ideal, right? If you want to be a YouTuber, you got to upload your content while the shitstorm is still going on, okay? You got to get it out as it's happening. Which is hard to do, but as you know, as soon as you can get it out, get it out. Consistency, my friends. Consistency and dedication. No matter what goes on in your life, you got to make those YouTube videos. I'll tell you this. I'm at episode 130 of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast, which is still nothing, but it feels great to be at 130. It feels great. Like, it feels like just yesterday I was hitting episode 100. And now I'm at 130. And then, you know, before I know it, I'll be at 150, then 200, and 250. You know, it's just going to keep going and going and going and going and boopity boopity boopity. You know? You keep that train bubbling. So being that my video, my episode was blocked... I gotta be a little bit more careful, which I should have been from the start. I should have honestly known. 
you know? Because last year the fight was so pirated to an insane amount that they didn't make as much money as they could. So now they're, you know, they're extra prepared and they like, they're saying, this is where you can watch the fight and nowhere else. If we find the fight anywhere else, instantaneous takedown. And they took it down. Like, it was, it's literally instantaneous. The video gets to 100% uploaded. You get an email. It says, the zone has not only filed a copyright claim on your video, but they have taken it down. Or blocked it, I mean. So I was like, shit. And I didn't even realize till like a few hours later. I just thought they gave me a copyright claim. So I was like, okay, I can deal with that. I expect that. But then you uh then I went back and I was like trying to watch it and I'm like, wait a minute. This shit's blocked. And I was like, fuck! That's why it's got no views. Well, that's not why it has no views. It has no views because no one views the shit. Cause it's the the worst podcast on the platform right now. Right here, the Nine Mike Gizmo Podcast is the worst podcast on the platform. Woohoo! Gladly take that title. So from here on out, I have to ba 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 ba. Think about what I'm uploading. Is it gonna get me blocked? And if so, just uh, keep the audio version of it in. Don't show the video. And even then, you can't. You gotta be risky with the audio because if it has any sort of music in it, then you're done as well. <laughs> you're done. Which is understandable. I'm not complaining, you know. It makes total sense. It's the way it should be, right? Da 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 So what was that? What was that that I showed in the beginning? What was that? This thing. The Seven Kissers. This is Dave and Ross, okay? It's a it's a spoof character of the What the fuck is his name? Why can't I remember his name? Driving me nuts. What is that guy's name? Bob Ross. Fuck. This guy. Bob fucking Ross. You know him. Painter. From the 90s. Had his own TV show. Your grandmother used to watch it when you went over to her house. And because she watched it, you watched it. And you actually liked it. And you still like it to this day. And it's on Netflix now. Okay? This guy. He's got a... He's got a real way... With words and the way he does things. He's he's calm and smooth. Super calm and constantly positive, but in a good way. And so, you know, back in the day before the Valley Folk even existed, still during the source fed times, and the uh or was it during the source fed time it was like at the end of source fed and then like there was the nuclear family okay the nuclear family was another branch of source fed uh, uh actors or whatever you want to call them okay it was uh steve zaragoza bob uh, Bree Ezrick, matt lieberman and some other people, okay? Source-fed people branched off and made a, a channel called Nuclear Family. They don't make any content on there anymore, but they, I'd say, I don't know if it was their most popular, but it was one of their most popular series, and that was Steve Zaragoza uh, playing this Dave and Ross character who is a spoof of Bob Ross. And let me tell you, when that shit came out, I had never laughed that hard in my life. If I watch it again now, it's not as funny as it was because I've I've seen it and I know what it is now. It's still funny, but it, you know, I 
you know how you just cherish those moments where you're like, this was so funny. It actually created like a fucking uh, a nostalgic memory in my head because of how much fucking fun I had watching those videos. There was only like two or three, but fuck were they funny. Unbelievably funny. So I'm glad to say that now the Valley Folk is bringing back Dave and Ross. I'm glad to say it, but I'm sad because I have a feeling it's not going to be as funny as it once was. Now don't get, I'm not I'm just saying because that's, you know, that happens when sequels come about. It's just not the same as the original, but it might be better. It might be good. I don't know. I'm just saying that might be a possibility. If you haven't seen the original Dave and Ross videos, go to Nuclear Family, the channel on YouTube, and watch them. Because they are fucking funny. I don't know if they're still funny today. But it just at that time that they were uploaded and during, you know, that climate, it was just funny. It was so unbelievably funny. Did you hear that? Olive, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Whenever I say that, he gets excited. He's like, oh my god, there's food? I could use some food, Olive. Are you hungry? Come here. Come here, Olive. Look, it's Olive. It's been a while. It's been a while since Olive's been on camera. Hasn't it? Do 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 do. No, you're gonna get all tangled up if you do that. Let go. No, you're getting tangled. It's an. Uh, it's been one week since Olive looked at me. Every time Oliver yawns, his breath just like wafts in a mass area. And it does not smell good. He just yawned and it stinks. Oh, he's yawning again. Oh my god. Oliver? Why does your breath smell so bad? His breath stinks so bad. It's ridiculous. Uh, what are people saying about this new Dave and Ross? Oh, I said something. I said, oh man, I cannot wait for this. So glad to see this come back. One of my fave characters of all time. I might watch the original episodes after this. Dave and Ross. After I do this podcast. If I remember, I'm, if I want to see if I can get a laugh out again. Can I get a laugh? Don't know. Here's something crazy. MTV. You remember MTV back when it was good? Music television. Now it's just a uh, bunch of bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, I don't know why MTV posted this. It must be. Is this going to be featured on MTV? I don't know. But Spongebob. Ah, Spongebob. Has a new fucking animated movie. Like a 3D animated movie. on a. It's another uh, Mission to Save Gary style. Gary goes missing like that one episode of Spongebob. And they got to go find him. At first I was like, what is this? This is, what is this? But now I'm like, hey, wait a minute. This actually looks pretty good. Okay. Can't play it because I'll get absolutely claimed. But I want to show you this one screenshot here. Boop, look at this. Keanu Reeves plays a piece of sage blowing in the wind. Olive, get down. You stink. He keeps yawning. If he, if he wouldn't have kept yawning, I could have kept him up here. But his breath is stinky. Wait, why is school shootings trending? Huh? Why is school shootings trending? 
I just gotta write something down here. One second. Excuse me. Excuse me. K. Oh, don't want to say what I'm writing down. Put a little that there. Okay. Where was I? Keanu Reeves playing a piece of sage. Keanu Reeves all over the place. Now, a day. So you notice that? He's fucking everywhere. I wish I could show this trailer. But I can't. So it's in real 3D. May 2020. MTV. Spongebob movie. Sponge on the run. Sponge on the run. That's about all I can sing. This is a funny part. This is a funny little segment right here. Ooh, funny. Ooh, funny. Ooh, funny. Ooh, funny. <laughs> so, go to uh, MTV's page on Twitter if you want to watch this. The trailer. If you want to watch the fucking trailer. Can't watch and talk about it because I'll get claimed. Absolutely get 100% get claimed and probably blocked. So, yeah, I gotta be a little careful now. I gotta, I gotta find a new way to do this in a different manner. You know, what, do you want to party like it's 2001? Because Motorola is bringing back the fucking razor, my friend. You remember the flip phone that raises? The Razer flip phone? R-A-Z-R? Look at this shit. You see this? Do you see it? This is just a GIF. This guy's flipping it open. Funk. Wabam. It looks like a flip phone flips it open. The whole thing's a touch screen. Come on, man. Um... Look at the transformation here. I can, you know what? People are actually considering buying this. And at first I was like, why would you want this? Why are you bringing the flip back? Why is everyone bringing the fucking flip feature back? Do we need it? Why do you why do you need the phone to flip open? What's so good about that? It was cool when it first came out. Everyone was like, "Oh, I'm fancy." Putting Hello. But now it's fucking stupid. But everyone's loving it. I mean, this phone itself is $1,500. Okay? But let's take a look, see at what we got here. 6.2 inch flex view foldable P OLED. 2.7 uh, inch quick view G OLED. I guess that's on the front when you close it. There's a screen on the front, and then there's, you know, you open it up and you got the 6.2, and a uh, zero gap hinge, which is which is we'll we'll look at that in a second. That's pretty cool. Splash proof. 16 megapixel front 1.7. What does that mean? F F 1.7 rear cam 5 megapixel. F 2.04. I'm not like the biggest tech guru here, so I don't know a lot of these specs. Qualcomm Snapdragon 710. Don't know what that is. 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of ROM, Android 9 Pi, uh, 2510 megawatt battery 15 or 15 watt I don't, what the hell mega what is this i don't know this 15 watt charging blobbly bloobly hold on here it is let's just here's the here's where it flips ka-ching you see this watch this that's smooth isn't it and it's a nice flat screen nice flat display here we got Marquez Brownlee. You know, if you really want a tech review, go to this guy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a tech. This isn't a tech review podcast. I'm just talking about it because it fucking caught my interest. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? You can't bring back the fucking Motorola Razor. But look at that when it's fully open. 
You couldn't even tell that there's a fucking fold in that screen. Isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? And then he he's he's got a half folded here. Now you can tell. But that's because it's his mid fold. And then right here you close it and there's a camera right here. And while you're taking a selfie, you can see yourself in this little bit right here. So I'm a, I'm kind of a little attracted to this phone. I'm a little attracted to it. Where is it? See this guy. He's like, I'm taking a selfie. And I can see myself. I'm taking a selfie of myself holding an iPhone. Wait, why is it? Oh, because, yeah, okay, I guess. Because he's got to take a picture of himself taking a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And then this feature. You can... <coughs> what does it say? Oh, ba 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 ba. Motorola added a secret razor or a secret retro razor mode. You go to the retro razor mode and look at that. It makes your phone look like the original fucking razor. How neat is that? It's neat. And here's the original. They're not going to show it open though. So what do you think, huh? Would you get one of these? It's so hard to just fucking go back to the flip phone though, right? Would you want this? I don't know if I'd want this. I just recently bought a Google Pixel 4. Okay? And I like this phone. Great camera. Great everything. The screen unlock is pretty well instantaneous. You it's kind of annoying to a point where like you're just trying to pick up your phone and it unlocks because it sees your face. You can see your face like from down here and it unlocks, which is you know, I'm pretty sure I can fuck around with it and change that, but hold on a minute. This school shooting there's a fucking school shooting again? The Los Angeles Sheriff Department responded to an active shoot when was this? Respond to an active shooter situation at Sagus High School. There are multiple victims, and according to local reports, the police have suspected surrounded. What the hell, man? Their first job really is to focus on protecting the students at the school, protecting the community, finding the person responsible. Uh, motive is something they look at a little further on down. What? Shots were fired at Sagus High school, 40 miles outside of Los Angeles. Authorities are searching for a single teenage suspect. Local hospital reported two victims in critical conditions with three others arriving for treatment. Nearby schools are on lockdown. Oh my god. What? Jesus. I This... Like, did this just happen? Wait a minute here. Wait a minute! Hold on. Might need, and uh, when that happens, there's a tremendous amount of conflicting information that circulates. So obviously one of the things we want to do is make sure that we only provide uh, stuff that we've been able to uh, confirm and verify in a few different right. ways. We've heard lots of different things. None of it really uh, locked down at this point. Eric, because we're waiting uh, for information and confirmation to just get the, to be able to release this name in the meantime, we do know, as you mentioned, he's 15 years old. Were you able to look into some history, uh, gun violence history or anything like that from this 15 year old or at this school? Uh, not yet. As far as the individual goes, uh, anybody who's underage, under 18, uh, there's no real ability for us uh, as reporters or even anybody, any member of the public to look at any kinds of uh, court records or indicators that might shed light on background. Why? So a 15-year-old kid just shot up a school. Why is this happening? Why does this keep happening? I thought we were... 
Oh, now it's fucking number one on trending right now. Because it, ju- it literally just happened as I was talking about fucking the Razor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this, dude. Right. have gone up in recent years. Look at this. Uh, most of the threats have turned out to be hoaxes. In other words, they were uh, offered by somebody or posted on social media by somebody with no real intent of carrying it out. One of the things that law enforcement has had to do is spend an inordinate amount of time running each of them down because... Why aren't they doing anything about this? Why does the school shootings keep happening? Nobody cares. I mean, that's not what I meant. Like... <laughs> People care, but nobody cares to do anything about it. Do something. How are these kids getting into the school with guns? Like you would think by the fucking 20th fucking mass shooting that they would implement some sort of goddamn security check or something. Like there's got to be something we can do in the meantime. Before we figure out what the fuck we can actually do to prevent this in the long run. I can't believe this is still going on. It's it's now number one trending. Ugh. This is insane, dude. The high school shoot. This is Andrew Yang. The high school shooting in Santa Clarita is horrifying. My heart goes out to the families of children. Our kids deserve better. We have to fight gun violence and shootings at every level, from firearm laws on down. The time for action is long past. We must do more than mourn. Exactly. Students led by officers single file out of Saugus High School as a shooting was reported at the campus in Santa Clarita. What? If you live in neighborhood S, anywhere near Saugus High School, please lock doors and stay inside. If you see sus- suspect, male dark clothing in backyards, etc., call 911. Multiple victims. At least six students hospitalized. Wow. And um, it uh, we we waited there for maybe. 20, 25 minutes, um, and then the uh, police came, uh, opened the door. They, uh, one of them had uh, gun rays, you know, just in case. Our, uh, our teacher, uh, uh, Jeremy Fannin, he uh, told us to have our hands up when he came in. Uh, you know, there was a, a few people crying, um, but it, overall, it was very, very calm. We were part of the, uh, I was part of the first class out. He came out a little bit later. Um, Did you know what was going on? Yeah, uh, after, it, it only took about uh, 10 seconds for everyone to, to realize what was happening. Um, you know, so, some people uh, thought maybe uh, it, was, uh, it wasn't real because there had been, uh, about a year or two ago, there had been a, a false report. Uh, but most people, you know, got the gist pretty quickly. Have you been able to talk to any of your other friends? Are they okay? Uh, yes, I've, I've been able to contact most, if not all, of my friends. Um, they've, they've confirmed that they're all right. A lot of them didn't make it to school yet. Uh, so. so what do you think of all of this? Um, we're hearing... Okay, I can't, I can't just keep watching this, but fuck, man. This is... This is...
I mean, God. Like, I don't understand. How come... How come in every other circumstance, when something negative happens, whether it's in a corporation at a job or a terrorist attack, there's immediate action and people figure out how the fuck we're going to get around this so that it doesn't happen again. But when it comes to school shootings, literally nothing is being done. Like, there's nothing being done. This is like how many fucking school shootings have happened in the past like year or so. It's just constant. And literally nothing is being done. I keep saying that because nothing is being done. They keep happening. If you if you if you're in an industry of work that can require any sort of injury or death if it's in the labor force, okay? And let's say someone slips and twists their ankle on like a spill on the ground. The company immediately puts actions in play and they prevent that from ever happening by, by implementing rules such as like, I don't know, if, if you spill something, immediately clean it up, immediately put pylons around it, uh, and if you don't, you'll, you're penalized for it. And of course, the people involved in that labor industry hate the fact that they have to abide by these new rules because they think they're stupid. But those new rules prevent that from ever happening again. But when it comes to school shootings, kids die and get shot and families' lives are ruined. But yet... The government, the school, the schools themselves, the people involved, the victim, nobody has a solution. And maybe people have solutions, but n nobody's enforcing anything. What the fuck is going on? Why did they put the camera down? Oh, but this is just the reality of what's happening. What's happening? Live aerial pictures of deputies still surrounding and a SWAT vehicle still surrounding the home where the shooter is believed to be holed up. We don't know Ooh. the condition of the shooter. We're waiting to hear confirmation if the shooter is in custody, if the shooter is dead, if the shooter is alive, if the shooter's been found. But there are deputies inside that home clearing every single room. Um, but since those lifts at the school, the school lockdown has been lifted. Deputies saying that there is no more threat to the public. That could be an indication that that shooter is no longer a threat. Uh, we we're just getting some new information in right now that we want to share with you again uh, in terms of the victims. Uh, that number has been fluctuating throughout the morning. Henry Mayo Hospital saying that they have four patients, uh, three males and one female. Uh, a female and two males are in critical condition and one of the males is in good condition. Also in terms of the reunification point, we're hearing from the Sheriff's Department that the north end of Central Park is now too congested. So parents, students, uh, they're being asked to go to the south end of the park past the Santa Clarita Community Gardens towards Sports Field 1 and 4. And don't forget, uh, you need to have an identification there as you pick up your kids. But there are a couple of reunification points, Central Park being the first one we heard about this morning. Right. And of course, where you were doing this reunification, it's been it's getting very crowded and uh, they're asking everyone to go to the south side of it and um, just to make it a little bit easier. But again, we're waiting to get confirmation about this suspect. But we do know and have been able to confirm that it is a 15 year old student um, and they were able to get that confirmation from students that were there, the students that were shot, the victims. They showed a picture and were able to identify and give that name 
to deputies, and that's how they got the information to the home. They ran over to the home, now canvassing this area. The video that you're seeing here to the left is a baseball field that's in between the school and in between the suspect's home, where witnesses saw the suspect dressed in black run through this baseball field, dump some backpacks, and uh, run inside of this home. And as you can see on your screen to the right, we're waiting for LA County sheriffs to give us an update. We believe they may have some information about this shooter and whether they have found him dead or alive. Yeah, so obviously a very... Jesus Christ, man. Somewhat confidence that they know exactly who they're dealing with and where they might be. Uh, let's check in right now with NBC4's Patrick Healy. Patrick, where are you at? At the corner of uh, Centurion and uh, Bouquet Canyon, the uh, school is just behind us, and they have been leading large groups of students down the sidewalk, bringing them to this uh, church here right at the corner, this kind of a gathering area, and then they are putting the students on, well, they were putting them on buses. I need to... Well, this has taken over my, my episode then, I guess. Wow, dude. Like, you think we could have ended the year off a little bit more positive. You know, I thought we could, we went the last few months without a school shooting. And now, we're back at it. End the year off strong with another one. This is... I need to, I just, uh, I need to stay to see if they get, if they catch this fucker. So I don't know if you were listening. The, the kid, the 15 year old kid shot up the school, ran through. He didn't, I don't think anyone died. There's like six injured students. He ran through a baseball field, dropped his backpack off and then ran into this home here which I guess is his ho his parents host but why why aren't they just going inside they're just waiting outside the the house here I don't want to stop this podcast and then find out that they find the guy or whatever can cops legally shoot the kid I mean, I think they can, right? It's hard to say. This is happening live for me right now. I can't. Oh, gosh, people. So, I mean, there's really no point in me discussing what else I wanted to talk about because well shit like damn dude and now I gotta I gotta find out if they catch this th this kid Okay, I, uh, quick little jump cut there because I wanted to, I wanted to stop and just kind of see if they're going to find this kid or not. I've been waiting for like hour to 45 minutes now. <laughs> and all the, all the, uh, oh my God, all they've been saying is just like, uh, that there's no longer a threat but they don't know if the if the 15 year old kid who did the shooting killed himself or if he's in the hospital right now or if he's still alive in the house no one's no one really has that information yet so i mean i wasn't expecting to even talk about this so i can't just sit here and continue to wait but i mean 
Like this is happening right now, right as I'm doing this. There's so many police cars. Like, look how many police cars there are on the left-hand side here. Since around 7.30 this morning, and again, more details to come in just a few yeah. minutes. So, Curious, uh, can we check in with uh, Megan Reyes right now, News Chopper 4 Alpha? Yep. Hey, guys. Hey, we're hi, still. Megan. Hey. Yeah, we're with you. We're back over Saugus High School right now. Essentially, this area here is an entire crime scene right now. I was uh, tr trying to find this spot earlier that I was shooting. There was a, a looked like a quad. This looks like maybe a quad center. A lot of students were outside. This uh, shooting happened before 8 o'clock. And what I've noticed is uh, you can see all the yellow tape. So uh, this might be an area where possibly a shooting happened. When, you know, they put the crime scene tape up. But what I noticed is look at all the benches there, the lunch benches, uh, all the backpacks were left. Students were scrambling and running for safety. And you see that and it just kind of shows you uh, the mass panic also there on the ground right there. Some more backpacks there um, on the ground. So obviously students dropped everything and took cover and did what they needed to do. But you could see a lot of deputies on scene right now. And uh, essentially uh, the investigation is just beginning. This is going to be a long investigation here at the school. We still have the command center not too far from here. Um, and I wanted to show you, I still see students being loaded onto buses down here. Now remember, each bus that's being transported, I heard on the scanner traffic earlier, they are going to have an armed deputy with them. So students are being uh, taken, uh, loaded onto buses right now, escorted by armed deputies. So they are safe. They're being taken to Central Park. That's the reunification center. Okay. I mean, they have great, once the shooting fucking happens, they're doing a great job of getting everyone out of there, but like, fuck me, man. Is there really nothing you can do to prevent the shooting happening in, in the first place? There's too many, it's too, there's too many. I don't even know what to say. I was in the groove, ready to talk about some topics here. We still have one, two, three, four. I had four other things I wanted to talk about here, but uh, I guess we'll save it for next episode because there's, I don't know. After this, the vibe has gone downhill. Like I can't, I can't bring it up from here, right? Like, we gotta... We just gotta end on this note here. This is what is happening. Department still on scene right now. And again, still a very active scene here. Fortunately, uh, we are, you know, again, we're getting those unconfirmed reports. Suspect may be in custody right now, but uh, students are still being escorted off the campus to Central Park. See, like, suspect may be in custody. They don't even know. They don't have the information. They don't know if he's dead. They don't know if he's alive. They don't know if he's in custody. They don't know what's going on. And so I don't, I don't, I can't just sit here and wait for that. So I'm just going to, I'm going to end this episode here. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, fuck, I can't even think right now, like. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. And in the next one, we will maybe discuss the results of what happened here. Maybe not. But we'll definitely talk about what was left on this list. And so, yeah. I'll see you then. Goodbye, everyone. He was fired on Veterans Day talking about the poppy. And that's, that's the question we're asking everybody if they've seen their student if they know and the answer in many cases is yes with every almost every student nowadays has cell phones so they've been texting and talking so most of the parents here have gotten word they know their kids are okay